I love your glasses, Fearless. I got these when I was in Chile looking for the elusive moringa bean. You did? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Oh, uh, is he done soon? Or I'm a natural green. Am I? Fearless, take one. Hi, I'm Carla Music, the food director at Bon Appetit magazine, and I'm here today with Trader Joe's Fearless Flyer. Hello and Bon Appetit! There are three things I love in life, Carla. Only three? Okay, what are they? A party. I love a party. Cheese. <laughs> Who doesn't love cheese? And meat. Oh, the meats! Sounds like you're in need of a beautiful cheese and charcuterie board. That's exactly what I need. Always a great option for a party. You want to get started? Absolutely. Okay, first things first. Always let your cheeses come to room temperature before serving. Cold deadens flavor, so a room temperature cheese is going to taste more delicious, but it's also going to be at that perfect consistency. Just remember to do this at least two hours before party time. So fearless. <laughs> I like to think of cheeses kind of like people, right? or like puppets. Each one has got its own distinct personality, and if we want this cheese party to be fun, we want to get like the right mix, you know what I mean? We want to have something creamy. Something sharp. Something firm, something mild. Something stinky. Uh, that raises a really good point. So your super robust cheeses, like anything with like a very funky, strong aroma, I think it's a good idea to put those on their own platter. That way, if you love it, you know where to find it, but if it's kind of not your thing, you can easily avoid it. Um, fearless? Fearless? <clears throat> oh. 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 <laughs> You're back. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's the, the stinky one. So fearless, if you were a cheese, what kind of cheese would you be? A manchego. Mm. Sweet caramel overtones with a hint of nut. The ideal culinary ambassador. Yeah, sure. Let's talk about cutting our cheeses. <laughs> I, it's important to put out a different knife for each type of cheese. That way the one that you're using for your creamy one doesn't get used to slice your firm one. What cheeses do we have here, Carla? This is our fromage pavé, Toscano in Syrah, Manchego Anejo, mm. Blue Stilton, and Trader Joe's unexpected cheddar. <laughs> Was he not invited? Right. Oh, 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 don't forget the meat. Oh, yes. We have some good ones from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's spicy charcuterie selection, mm -hmm. uncured salami de parma, and prosciutto. Look at that color. They're really gonna stand out on the board. Now remember, fearless, the cheeses are salty. The meats are salty. Whenever I'm setting something up like this, I like to remember to put out something fresh and juicy and sweet to go along with it. Some figs, some little clementines, and that'll kind of balance things out. We have rosemary marcona almonds. Oh, something crunchy. Perfect, that's gonna go really well too. Yeah. And what should we do with the honey? Great question. Instead of leaving it in the jar because people might not know what to do with it, just go ahead and pick one of the saltiest cheeses, like the Stilton, and just drizzle the honey right over it. And that way, your serving suggestion is kind of built into the presentation, and everybody's gonna get to taste it that way. Now, Carla, we also have some marinated olives. When you put out your olives, make sure to put out a little pit bull. My guests like to have a glass of wine or two or three at my soirees, but I'm never sure what I should serve. There are so many rules. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Listen, just remember, number one rule about wine, there are no rules. If it tastes good to you, then it's good. Okay, I won't be scared. Maybe I could even be a sommelier someday. You mean a sommelier. Gesundheit. Thank you. Two things to remember. You definitely want to serve white wines cold, and even most reds taste best with like a little bit of a chill on them. So especially if your apartment or your house is heated, toss those bottles into the fridge about an hour before party time, get them down to cellar temperature. Well, my home is set at a constant 62 degrees. That's pretty chilly. Is that why you always wear that hat? Hat? What hat? Uh, never mind. <gasps> Another good thing to remember, if you're not sure how much wine to buy, each bottle is gonna have about five glasses in it, and most people, most people, will drink about two glasses per hour. All the ingredients you need for a great party. I think we nailed it. I think we did. Here we go, my friend. 
what do you say we get this party started? You got it? Oh, you okay. <laughs> Thing. That creamy one's really been talking to me since mm -hmm. this morning. You think it would be weird if we just got a little piece of cheese before the party started? Nah. No, no, who's gonna No, mind? nobody will miss it. I don't think so. Yeah. Here. Just a little bit. Just a little sliver. Ooh. Oh, that is nice. Really nice. You know, those are really great glasses. Oh, thanks. I got them in Honolulu. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, chin up. Oh. <laughs> Last bite. There you go. Yeah, get in there. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs>